They sell it through, so you're ready to replace all this stuff on my bike, right? Mm -hmm. You're good to go? You know what you're doing? Oh, geez, I just calculations. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, is, this is the end of the right out bike. Out of all these recommended tools, I've got one of them. Oh, God. Great. No, he's got. He's so worried about his Honda Bond that we got to make sure we got the right stuff. Well, there's a difference, obviously. Honda made a different one, right? And they also made the Honda 400 AT. So. Oh, geez, there we go. <laughs> All right, so today we got something special, really special. The Honda's actually getting worked on for once. It never needs any work. It's perfect in every way, flawless. Ain't that right, Solitude? It's, it's, it's an amazing little Honda. It's an amazing little Honda. He was cursing it earlier. He said there's oil in the coolant and... Right there, because it looks black. Wait, well, you would think there's oil in there, but nope. It's clear. It's just dirty. It's just my bike. He should know this by now. Mm. My bike's just This filthy. is actually black. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be chrome. Well, That's I, supposed hey, to be black. Hey, look, I took some... Uh, what's that stuff called? Some steel wool. And I was like, oh, it's actually coming off, but that's yes. all. that took me like 30 minutes to do. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I, I started doing this cover too a little bit. What's this? Is this thing torn right here? Oh, that's just the hose. That's yeah, just the way, way you cut it. No, I didn't cut it. That's how it was. Honda cut it. That's the way Honda cut mm. it. Because it's supposed to go right there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. Now, nah, well, we're just... Uh, Can I show him the, the parts? Show him the parts. He still doesn't know which one of these to use. He's just going to pick one. It says TB1215. Or equivalent. Or equivalent. I don't know which one's equivalent. TB1215 is Honda Bond 3. But you're saying to use HT. I didn't say HT. Oh, they said to use HT. Okay, I whatever. The 4 is just replace 3. You know, if my math is correct. <laughs> and then. Is it? It should be. And so. Because you were looking at the paperwork for a little badger or something like that. You thought, and you thought it was mine. Well, That's a common mistake. <laughs> it happens. Okay, so we got... Here's your piston from last time. Oh, he's got to throw that in there. Oh, God. Uh, there oh, it is. Oh, well, we always got to pull okay. this thing out. Great. <laughs> the little bitty one. Oh, you bastard. I was, I, was, I was too busy framing the shot. I wasn't paying attention to what you were showing me. You're a douche. Anyways, so we got this... What is this one here? The big one? The basket? Well, it's the... It's the, the clutch basket, basket cover? Yeah, that's what... The clutch pad engages to. The clutch pad engages to that thing right there. Yeah. We're just kind of doing this. This is nothing. None, nothing's out. The only thing that's really out is the one we buried. Yeah. And I figured since I was here, we have to do this stuff too. So of course, if any, I mean, we'll I guess show it later on. But that thing sits in there. And as this thing spins, your clutch basket's holding these, and then these will fling out. Spreads out. And then grab it because there's little springs that attach to this to that. Actually, we'll throw it in two of them. It's like a puzzle. It is. It's, it's kind of pain in the butt to hook it up. So a spring will go from there to there, and then vice versa, all the way around. And so these things will then centrifugal force, spin them out, spin them out, because this thing's always spinning. It'll grab it, and that's what actually turns it. And then when you let off the gas and stop, then these things come back down, free it up. It's centrifugal. And then that's what the one-way bearing then sits into there. That's why the outside can spin, 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 do its thing. Get the ah. gas, it catches, and then turns all your... That's clutch pads and your and stuff. Okay, that makes more sense. Do I need to put this back in the oil? I'm going to just because it's yeah. So you're supposed to soak these? Is that the, is that the idea? Well, how the hell did you get them all to fit in here? What the freak? It's a, I'm horrible at puzzles. Well, shut. <laughs> Anyways, so we got a timing chain here also. And we just figured, well, I said we, I asked Solitude, what should we do while he's, he's in it? He's like, what's in the front, front of the uh, motor? Because we got this and this and this. He's like, yes, let's do it. Yes. Yes. Because last time the timing chain was like a good two inches longer. Oh, yeah. But no, it, it, was, it wasn't yeah, that bad. It was a little bit worn out. But he's in here. I mean, it's not ticking or nothing like that. But I figured since he's in here and he's so far away from me now, might as well get him to do it. What are you doing? Why are you prying on shit? Oh, you're getting that off. So that's the way to do it right there. Well, usually you can like just pull it off. Whoa, whoa, don't be so whoa. rough. Does it look clean? No. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that's oil, huh? So that's the oil is going out. We'll see. 
Uh oh. We might have. I mean, a little here and there. Like if it was full and like drained out, then it's like a little bit. So how does a little bit come out then? If it's. You pee your pants a little bit. I mean. Well. <laughs> well, suck <it's not> happening. <laughs> All right, so I have to bring it back again. It looks like, you know, I mean, like I said, you know what the. I mean, it is a wheat pole. Like it's made. It's it is a wheat pole. <laughs> so it's made to wheat. Whenever whenever bad things happen, the only weeps whenever bad things happen. I've seen real bad things happen, and we're not there yet. <laughs> so solitude. What are you doing now? Still, still doing the thing. Still doing the thing. Yeah, he's got to pop off this coolant line. He's already drained the coolant out. Make sure you do that if you're going to pop this stuff off. There you go. Look at that. Just like, just like that. I don't think it's loose enough. Ah. Look at that. Expertly done. <laughs> oh, he got stuck on there. Fuck. You're embarrassing me, buddy. You're embarrassing me. I thought this kind of stuff only happened to me. Yeah. So it happens to all good mechanics, is that what you're saying? Uh, we need to cut that zip tie. Wait, what are you cutting now? That zip tie holding on your, here you go. Holding on your uh, actuator wire. This way you have room to, room to move. You're talking about this right here, right? Mm hmm not the wire. Well, too late. You're blocking all the footage, all man. Right. Well. It's I mean, a stupid what's, hose what's and it's more, taking me more time to do this, but I don't want to ruin the hose. What's more important, the video? There you go. Makes sound like an extra hand. I know an extra, you're not used to having an extra hand. I know Kevin, whenever he's out here, you just... <laughs> Kevin's out here? <laughs> <laughs> Try it. See if that catches on me. Yeah, we got it. Ow! You got it? Yeah. Um, I wasn't catching the action. Maybe. Are you still? I got it now. Oh, I don't have... Okay, try, okay try, <laughs> I do, see it spinning. Okay, go again. Ah, go again. No, wait. <laughs> get, this, get your chubby cheeks on there. I don't have... Okay, go ahead now. I got a floor this time. I really, am, I really am the best helping hand. If I'm messing you up too much, just tell me. And I'll just go to sleep while you work. Look at that. Oh, dropping it. It looks like that hose is going to get pinched, but it, it just doesn't. Whoa! God, this freaking shop is just a mess. You can't do nothing in here. Over here, tell me. <laughs> like, you just can't get your bearings. I mean, everything's just all out of order, and it's freaking ridiculous. I mean, oh, that, that's mine. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Hey, look at that. I see, I see you. Oh, there you are. Right there. Yeah. Don't mind me. Oh, this is Solitude's new ride right here. I think, I think this thing's got a, this is a, what, a 570? Not this one. Need, need help over here? Nope. That's the jack still on that frame right there. Let me scoot it over just a smidge. Okay, you're good now. Oh shit. You moved it. What's that? You moved it. Why oh, didn't realize it was okay, that's my bed. That's my bed dog. That's good. I didn't realize I had another notch in the middle. I don't use my tools that often, so I don't know. Hey if anybody's interested, there's a Razor 800 for sale. All faithful. All love, faithful. Love that thing. But ever since he got this one, he's just been treating it like a redheaded stepchild. I mean, you guys. He's passing gas or what? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's the chili cheese fries for dinner. 
not selling too well. Look at what he had for dinner. I had a lactate pill though, so I'm good. Buddy, I'm, I'm gonna be taking dumps to my camper this weekend. I can't be having it stink too bad, you know what I mean? I gotta do everything I can. God, this thing is just pristine. This is where we need to put the, uh, like make a lift kit and make it be this tall. <laughs> no. No, then I won't be able to do anything. This is my, this is my weekend. Use a strong hand. I'm recording with my strong hand. Oh, I guess the action's over there. Ain't just, nothing happening over here. Just some muscles over here. Oh, God. No, what, what, you, you said you had your pliers or whatever it is? Oh, God. Yeah, hey, you're, really you're really good at that motion, buddy. I could just grab that over there with my hand. Shit. What was it? Ready to pull? Well, I can't pull anything. I don't, I don't have plier hands. Because they're all calluses. Pull it. There it is. So good. Here, I'm gonna lift up in this way. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. I don't need your help. <laughs> Please don't stop helping me. <laughs> Look at that. So that smell right there—is that just the smell of grease, or is yeah, that the smell of watery grease? Pretty much watery grease. Old water grease. Okay. It smells good though. You gotta love it. That's crazy how that boot just kind of holds that smell in. Yeah, well, even I had a Honda that was sunk for five years, actually. It was, I don't know how long it sat or whatever, but I pulled the uh, oil oil plug. About 15 seconds of water came pouring out. <laughs> and then about five seconds of actual oil came out after that. And after that, it smelled so bad. <laughs> and actually, I cracked the, I just cracked the rear diff um, fill plug. And it stunk up this whole shop just by cracking it. That's crazy. I had to pull it off. And it smelled, oh my God, it was terrible. It's disgusting. Man, I was packing up. I was trying to get something out of my filing cabinet. I, 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 I went. Your trinkets? It's <laughs> a filing cabinet. That's where I keep all my stuff at, okay? <laughs> I don't have a shop, all right? Jeez, you better go check your pager, too. <laughs> <laughs> I bought them used, okay? They're like $10 each. They're perfect for storing all my tools and shit inside the house, okay? Because I, I don't have a shop like this. Oh, your knitting software. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, my knitting software. Anyways, I, went, I reached in there to grab something, and I wasn't looking. And I, a dead cat there, Grandma? No, 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 no. I missed, and my freaking fingernail went in between the damn metal ridge right there, mm -hmm. and it lifted up my fingernail on there. Are you saying that because you saw my cut? No, I didn't see that. Oh! Well, I'm, mine doesn't even look bad, and I'm complaining about it. It feels bruised. I don't like it. I mean, it, it happens every time, but every one of my, not only my fingers, but every time. Let me get a close up on these nasty things. <laughs> like, what well, they, well, they say, never trust a. a a mechanic with clean hands. Shit! Oh, you got nothing to worry about. What? You got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I don't like getting dirty, though. I don't want them to get confused and think that I'm a good mechanic, right? He looks like this person I need to fix myself. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to mean. Hmm! 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 Hey, did you see that little mud grab handle I got on there? From Quad Customs. Quad Customs. I forget everything we talk about now is a plug. <laughs> quad Customs. Actually, I, no, I bought it with my own money. But I, I won't lie. The only reason why I bought it was because... Uh, you mean companies just don't send you stuff? That's weird. Yeah, it's stupid that I have to buy stuff with my own money. I hate it. <laughs> it's obnoxious. But, anyways, like I was saying, whenever I bought it, I used a, I used a discount code from Project Ajax. And they were also giving out money for each order, so... You don't get oh, is that where like, they send so much money for... Um, yeah, they threw in like some in money. A, in the Guess how much I got. A uh, dollar. Five dollars, actually. So it actually came out to like, I think it was like 15 bucks or something like that after it was all said and done. So it was a fairly inexpensive modification that I, I might use. So what do we got? So now you're getting all the bolts around the, the front case, right? Mm -hmm. So what is this front case called? The front crankcase cover? Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I thought. And then if it was on the side, it would be called the side crankcase cover. <laughs> <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Hey, what size is that? 10. 10. That's 10 mil right there. This is a very comprehensive how-to, just so y'all know. And There's a really good write-up on um, the internet for how to do this. You just got to look into the service manual. 
You know who's gonna look it up? I have the service. I, I have the service manual. I still don't look it up. It's just so much easier. It's so much easier to use a impact, but so why aren't you using it? Just quiet. I just no. Oh, so we can talk. Oh, for the video, that's so nice. Because I know that this will fit in every spot. And I don't feel like jacking with the impact. Thing. Oh, okay. I thought you were being considerate for the video, so we could actually talk while you're you working. Mean, I mean, I'm just trying to be really considerate for the video. <laughs> and besides, this is more time. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Twenty minute drop turned into a. I don't know how. Oh, that's right. What do they say? What do they say? If I do it, it's this much. If you help me do it, it's three times as much. If you're here, then it's so much more. And... Fuck. I knew that. I was wondering why you were encouraging me. Like, hey, why don't you just go ahead and do this? I mean, I tried to encourage you to at least take off some floorboards and that never. Well, okay. Okay, I tried. I tried to get here as early as I could, too. That's not my fault. Well, it's my fault, but it's not my fault. I tried. I did everything I could. I mean, I'd ask you to get me a... A beer, but I know before you get here, it'll probably be hot. <laughs> I'll go get you a beer. Bush light. <laughs> That's why I walked away, because I don't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Because he's the same way, too. He'll be like, oh, all right, I'm heading your way. He shows up. You, you want to pop it open for you, too? Actually, please don't ask me to because my fingernail hurts so bad. I know Bush is like really cheap and really just like the most redneck kind of beer. But no, no, what are the good ones? The big flats from like Walgreens or CVS. Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. Never tried. One of my buddies in in college, he drank. He went to the freaking CVS and he goes, "Hey, man, they got this twelve pack of beer for like three dollars." <laughs> <laughs> big flats. I don't even like, drink. What's the name of it? It's called it's called Big Flats. How many of you guys? If you're watching this, whatever. I've heard of ABC Auto. Nobody. It is amazing to me that you. I mean, it looked like it was cool as shit, but that's the first time I've ever seen it. Hey, what the hell is that? What kind of bug. It's gonna come down and eat us. This this is a fucking angle right here, dude. I'm getting some. This is a money shot. <laughs> okay, let's see. Get the tune up. Hey, look at that good looking dude right there. Completed. 31 OGs. Oh, this dude pisses me off. He comes up every time I search Swamp Ass. He comes up before me every time. <laughs> and foul balls. <laughs> yes. There it is, back again. And big upcoming news. Let's see. You gonna copy? You gonna copyright strike me? I said. Swam pass. I'm gonna copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I should do that. That'd be. <laughs> Dude. Wow, this is like. A video on a video of me on video. <laughs> you're so full of yourself. <laughs> All right, so what? So you're prying? Yeah. Do we need to watch the video? Uh, there's this guy on YouTube that solid dude customs he did. I mean, I have. That's why I film it to help me out too. I don't understand the pry points. Like you don't have anything to pry against. Like I see the tab, but what do you pry back on? Like you need. I don't know. I'm just fine. I guess you get like that. Okay. Do I want to like go from side to side to side? I got you. I mean, this side here is technically already it is broke loose, but I want to oh, I want to okay. hear that on every spot though. I'm gonna go from right here and make the jack fall over. And see, the thing is too, like I mean, yeah, you could possibly just go right here and just have at it, but I don't want to obviously crack anything bad. See, I mean, yeah, some people Listen. don't don't care, but. You do, which is why I bring it to you. Even this old crusty ass thing, you still care a little yeah, bit. I don't, I want, if something's hard, it doesn't make sense to keep going and hope it gets easy. <laughs> that's, what, that's the way I do it. <laughs> that's what happened with this bolt up here. You know, maybe if I thought like that or if I did that, stuff would happen a whole lot easier. <laughs> but a lot of times it doesn't. Do I need to hold the front of the case, keep them falling off or anything? What about that seal? Does that seal need to come off first or no? What seal? The, the seal. No. Okay. I mean, we could probably... No, I'm asking. I mean, it's probably... You have a new it, one, right? Yeah, but it's probably good not to, right? So it doesn't mess up the machine parts, right? Well, there's a whole lot more holding it centered than ah. a seal. Aha! Okay, you didn't say it like that, but all right, I get, I get the point. <laughs> <laughs> simple wrong would have been just fine. But <laughs> simple no. Okay. <laughs> And 
I'm hoping I got all the bolts out of it too. If I remember right, it's 15 and I got 15. Shit, you scratched my bike up. Ah, uh, that's why you want to clean. <laughs> I'm just watching all this dirt and shit just fall. I can just put this like in here, right? And oh just... my god, you're stressing me out. I mean, that's like I just I, I don't I don't like stress and stuff. Yeah, because yeah. you only have one chance of that. I mean, either, yeah, yeah, that is the pry point. But even prying on a little tab, I mean, yeah, especially after it's been worn out a little bit. That's why I like to see it break loose before I just go. Can we just get like a chisel and just put it in between the seam and just start hand? I mean, well, this is all I mean, this is all normal to me. I just do it until it. I'm sure some people have done that. I just do it until it's happy, you know. Yeah. And then it's, it's then again too, if like it didn't just like pop loose and I go back through, and I'm gonna make sure I got all the bolts out that need to come out. Yeah, there's a, it's a, there's a, there's a method to the madness. I like it. Method to the madness. I mean, I, I'm not on the time schedule like it. What? Is, I, I keep on getting dirty. The people didn't mistake me as a, a damn mechanic. Do you want me to pry on this side at the same time? Is that going to help at all? I mean, if, all I'm, I'm listening for the, the cracking of that. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I, no, once take, I hear that. Yeah, take your time. I'm not, I'm not trying to rush you at all. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you know. I'm trying to. Know what's going on in the head of yours? See, like, oh, okay. Let me did you happen to hear that? See, yeah, now we working back and front. Oh, and stuff and okay. Like I'll try to be quiet this next time. I guess you'll be able to hear with the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. It's good now. Now I'm happy. Now I can start going. Oh, it's all the separation. Yeah. Hey, but there's just nothing to pry against down here on this part. Okay, so that's that's a good tip. Oh, oh is that part chipped right there, or is that just how it's angled? What that? Yeah. No, that's a, another pry point. I didn't know if it was like a chip pry point, like from the rock. You know what I mean? No, they're. It's the same. It's exactly the same as that right there. I gotcha. So. I gotcha. And, uh, it's, it's weird to make a pry point like a triangle but yeah. no I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to blame you for anything I was just oh, no. curious genuinely curious no. it's all all good look at that separation and two, I mean, you can, once it actually is loose enough, you can put something in there and, you know, help it move along. But the worst thing to do is, like, you know, put that in there and then just start hammering on it. <laughs> it's not good. Look at that piece of sh <laughs> God dang. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> it looks the same. You said you acid washed this, I thought. Whoa, with the money shot. I hope I was looking at it. You know me, I'm never looking at this shit. That. Oh, do we need the oil catch? I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? The what? An oil catch? Nah, not that much. Look at that. There you go. That's it, huh? Oh, so now it's my turn to do it? Yeah, just do your thing, huh? It's in the morning. Shit. <laughs> and you didn't count the O-rings like you did last time. Well, because you were really wanting to get that shot, so I'll be Oh, back. it was? I was just being stupid. Why don't you get this dirt off of here? Oh, it's so dirty. No. That's my fault. I should have cleaned it better. Now we got. Should have plenty of. Uh, plenty of car cleaner. All right, so you want to see why your front seal always goes bad? Yes. Why don't we guess? Probably we should have got. Or is that a hard part to replace? I guess. Yeah, and it's this shaft right here is the yeah. same shaft as that shaft. Ah, okay. So, but go ahead and fill that. That's why your that seal good. goes bad. And what happened there? Mud and grit get in there. Hmm, okay. Keep on having its way with it. So you want to know something that you probably realized that I... That was probably... Something that was uh, probably common sense to you but wasn't to me. Whenever I tried to replace the seal the first time, I think it was in the back. Mm -hmm. I was prying on the fuck out of this thing trying to pull this thing out. I thought that part... I thought that shaft came out. Because <laughs> it says pull the drive shaft out. And I was like, fuck, okay. 
And I was, I was. You didn't know it was like that drive shaft. Yeah, I didn't. It didn't because so, it didn't say it didn't. It didn't. The, yeah. the Honda manual didn't say explicitly. And someone that's a dumbass like me, <laughs> I, was, I was beating the shit out of it. So that's the same. This is out of an old 450 I had. I actually broke this in the Mud Nationals mud bog. This is the rear. And this is the front. So put down here. This. It's supposed to be nice and there is actually it looks it, fine to me. No, it's just it's just the ever so it's on one of the ends. I think if you look at like this end it does go up and down. I think I just saw it here. Yeah. So I was busting U joints. I actually busted a U joint. And when you and when you go it's like on there and you spin it, like you the thing was just That's crazy that just that that much, that little bit. Mm -hmm. Like my buddy Dallas is breaking, he's got a Ranger crew too, and he's breaking drive shafts in the middle one because this is in three pieces. One back there, one in the center, and one in the front. He's breaking the middle one constantly. Right. And so he's replacing them. I'm like, man, well, you might need to check, you know, make sure everything else is in line because if it gets too, you know, right. messed up, it's going to put it in the line. So this right here is what you got right here. See, that makes more sense. And I guess if I, if I would have done more research, if I, I would have done it, but I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was... I think you're a little stressed out and everything. A little different size. So they did change something up. Who was that guy? Oh lord. This guy was sniffling so much, it was an, it was obnoxious. Look at that old 94 F-150 though. Oh, this is you? Yeah. I wanna see this. Why? That's just I watch a lot of stupid videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why is that discolored right there? Because of heat. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Okay. <laughs> well, what's what's rubbing against it, or what's is that? Is there friction on that? Yeah, what? that's this is where the, that that bell has. Oh, so it's the heat so. from the inside from those. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. And I don't know. Is that one? No, it's not discolored. No. So whenever you are spinning and you got a lot of torque on there and stuff, yeah, I mean that's burnt up a little bit. Okay. But it's not unusual either. Like, I'm it's honestly, not like I, you, I think that's what it looked like last time you took it. I mean, it looks yeah, similar to that. They they pretty well always do. It's not that I did anything wrong or bad or anything like that. Right. I mean, you told me it was no big. It was it was fine. Yeah. No, they they. I think I actually have another one here, so we'll go check that one. So that's make it's just making more sense now. You know, I'm putting it together in my head. I mean, that, that one's way better than mine. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, don't ever drop a one-way bearing. No. So, and so, well, that's what we're going to check on yours, too, when we pull it out. Like, fill that. See those grooves? So, those shouldn't be there. No, I mean, I mean, no. they're going to be, they're going to, it's going to wear. It's going to be there, wait. but it shouldn't be too, too deep. Okay. And then, also, too, like, see how that's, oh, no grooves left? Yeah. We're gonna check on yours. That's why so this one's in the parts bin because it's bad. Oh, wait, the parts bin as in like uh, <laughs> the parts bin as in like it's gonna go back into somebody else's. So what is that? That little, that little fork? Is that a shift fork? Yeah, this is your shift fork there that puts. As you shift that thing, what it does when you shift. It pushes in on these springs, which is gonna disengage the clutch pack and allow you to shift gears better. So is this a double so clutch? So that's no, not a double clutch, but that's <laughs> acting as your clutch handle. When you got a clutch handle, right? You're basically pushing in on that with the clutch handle, but this is all doing it. Oh, on interesting. That. That's so cool. That timing chain looks like it's a little stretched out. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's perfect. Well, let's see on your uh, how much of your tensioner is out though. It's. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> your your tensioner is not even out at all. Like your tensioner is not because that little arm. Yep. Flashlight. Yeah, where's your flashlight? I can't see nothing over this dim ass shop. It looks like Walmart in here. <laughs> Yeah, so that little arm on that little yeah plastic piece there, like you're not even pushed out at all. Not pushed out at all. I mean, you're, I mean, you're pushed out, but no more than probably what a new one would be. So a lot of people too will just, which we might, 
But that little stake that you push down on that, you can either take it and just spin it off and sometimes it will. With this one being so far out towards the end, you're probably not gonna have an issue if we did do it. Um, you can either try to pry up on, let's see if we can. You can either mm. just spin it off real quick and it should not mess up the threads. Sometimes it does. Um, so we'll, we'll see if we can pry up on that a little bit, <laughs> help it out. Oh, don't dirty that. Oh shit, that gets super bright. This is a badass flashlight. Thor fire. I have one of these, my cousin took it and then he was like, hey cuz look at this new, this cool flashlight I got. <laughs> like, like it was like a month or two later, I was like, he showed me the flashlight. He said, like, "Oh, I lost it." I like, "Oh, he found my flashlight." He goes, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Never mind." Did he give it back? No, I didn't. I didn't. Even, I didn't bring it up anymore. Shit, that looks hard. I mean, you just need to help it out. WTF Honda. No, I mean, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Oh, good job, Honda. Hey, you're so good at guessing these sizes. Which one is it, Carlos? What's that? Is it left hand or right hand? Because 300s are. Well, I don't hand. know. Tell me. Or right hand. There we go. Unstake. I don't have the special tool to hold it. Remove the lock nut and washer. See? This thing doesn't tell you shit. I know, it really doesn't. <laughs> do we need to watch your video on how you did it? Let's watch the video. We're gonna take a brief intermission while we do some research mm -hmm. on the uh, Solitude Customs channel. Mm -hmm.